Yes, up next, it's Lynn May who will be taking on those who create divides where she reckons none ought to exist. Take it away, Lynn May. May I say, I think it's about time that we eradicate the whole ideology of race. We all want racism to be completely wiped off the face of the earth. What better way to do it than to actually get rid of the ideology of race? There is oftentimes so many people, you know, white this, black that. And if we look historically at race, it was created around the 1600s, does not really mean anything. Let's even look at the term white. What does white mean? Who is actually even white? Go into the sun for 10 minutes, you're no longer white, even though you weren't initially were white to begin with. Black, what does black mean? And for people who are online, they often create this massive divide, often to try and make money and forward their own careers with the likes of, say, Kiende Andrews, who is a professor of black studies, who knows what that means. For the likes of Sophie Cochran, who likes to now be the ambassador for white people, where she doesn't actually represent so many white people out there. And of course, they're not here to defend themselves. These are obviously my opinions on what I see. But if we want to unite Britain, why are we constantly trying to barrage with this whole stupid, out of date, redundant term race. Now let's look at the different groups in the world. I won't be able to finish all of them, but let's say for example, Scots, English, Ukrainians, Russians, there is a diverse amount of people who we would once upon a time would have just said are all white. They're all culturally different, all have their own different ways of living. The same with black people. People from, let's say, from Nigeria do not necessarily relate to those from Jamaica. So let's completely get rid of of race. Ooh. Interesting. Now, I, I want to start with Darren. Oh. I've often seen you championing, and there's nothing actually wrong with it. I think we should be proud of who we are. But when I see you say, you know, oftentimes uh, white people in, let's say, uh, seaside areas are now not finding the benefits of being in the UK and they're a forgotten group. Do you think that terms like white actually makes any sense? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, you said there that, you know, white people, you go into the sun for a little bit. I could go, I could live on the sun and I still wouldn't get a tan. How did oh, you get your I, tan now? Yeah, I was well. about to say, this is not a fake tan. I don't think you are white. It's not a fake tan. But, uh, no, 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 just quickly point, if we just see here, this is what you would call white. Would you say that's the same colour? Because I wouldn't. Well, I mean, yeah, right, fine. Are but, you white? Uh, well, I think I am, yes, I think so. But do you think the term colour to reduce ourselves to a colour. Well, I think it's sense. useful as a metric for what I what I've probably been talking about, which mm. you mentioned there, which would have been white working class kids, you know, from uh, communities like that, which I, I come from, but not just that up and down the country, who actually I I do think have been forgotten mm. and who are doing uh, significantly worse in education than their black counterparts. Now that's. It's great that black counterparts are doing so well at school. <laughs> Fantastic. But how do we actually talk about getting white working class kids to do better at school? But then shouldn't you just speak them? about class then? Because if we just say white, there are multitudes of, let's say, middle to upper class people that have no idea of the experience of a, a white working class individual. Why not get rid of the term yeah. white? I think we need to get rid of the term BAME, and it does seem to have yes. got less fashionable now, black and minority ethnic, because there are so many disparities between different groups, um, and you can't just pit one massive blob, B-A-M-E, against not white, the white... But why, why not white? If we're going to get rid of BAME, because... As well, it's just know, factual, though, isn't it? What was factual? Well, th there are white people and there are black people, but there's so no, many people in between. But I think, I, think the, I think the question is, is, is why do we hold such gravity to terms like black and white when actually it is no more important than blonde or ginger or brunette or black hair. Like we, we don't divide people based on their hair colour. So why does it make sense to divide people but based on their hair colour? But you want to go back to what Emily said. If it's factual, why then are there so many people that don't actually belong to a colour? So you have black and white. Well, what are Asian then? They're not called brown. You have Arabs. You have uh, Chinese people. They're not called any colour. Why no, no, are you black I completely and white? agree with you, and that's I agree with you to an extent because I don't think that it's helpful at all to. Mm. call, you know, someone who has dark skin, black, and group people together under the umbrella of black when we have Afro-Caribbean, we have mixed race, we have African, we have so many different countries where people can have dark skin. Mm. And then, of course, you have Asian people and you have all sorts. I mean, I don't think it's good to lump people in together, but I think 
we often talk about disparities between groups within black or within Asian in this country. And so it's useful to be able to delineate between people, even if not based on white or black. Yeah, what do you think, Ben? Because I, I see that Emily's placing heavy emphasis on not calling black people or Asian people, but I'm still, if we're going to not call black people that because there's so much different, you know, nuances, then I think white should be the same. Scots, Ukrainians, they're all not the same. Would you agree or disagree? Uh, I think it'd be rewriting history to pretend that the terms don't mean anything or mm. as though it is equivalent to being ginger or blonde or brown. But biologically, right? it quite literally is. Yes, but that's not the reality of, of human society. Only right? because of if, ideology. If you, if you go to pretty recent history in the US, mm. people that had all sorts of fundamental rights taken away, who were held as slaves, that was because they had black skin. And so I think you can't pretend that that isn't the way in which lots of people have come about in the world, their family history, their experience of how they're treated. Of course, it's irrational in a variety of ways, but it is real. But then we do rewrite the term race, because when there was a lot of Polish people that came into this country, we then had a box that said white other. Uh, I was initially t uh, referred to as black. Then in 2001, there was a, a consensus formulated, okay. and now I'm mixed. So now it keeps changing. Well, yeah, it's, it's all very confusing. <laughs> Cheers very much, Lynn Maid.